everybody doing today welcome back to my youtube channel you guys if you're new to my youtube channel and you do not know who i am my name is Avril and brown thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to my youtube channel if you've been on my channel before welcome back i haven't really done any type of food delivery services other than doordash so today's gonna be my first time trying instacart and i figured why not go ahead and record it for you guys did the application online and i got like a confirmation email i had to do like a background check and all of that after i did all of that they sent me this thing in the mail this is the card that i will be using to shop after i shop to pay for the food so they sent me a card i just activated it before i came into my car and they also sent me this green thing i guess it just it's basically just letting people know that you're instacart shopper and stuff like that so it's pretty cute before i get into this video you guys if you like this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe as well without further ado let's get right into the video all right you guys so now that i have gas in my car i'm gonna go ahead and open the instacart app and see what's gonna happen right now it's loading they consider orders as badges so if you see here it says 15 batches available it means basically there's 15 orders and i get to choose which ones that i want to do so i'm gonna try look through here and try to see if i can find the best one all right i'm gonna do the 2779 one the one is right here it's two orders it's 4.4 miles it's at aldi and hopefully it seems it says it's only 4.4 miles so it shouldn't be that bad so i'm gonna go ahead and click on it and see what happens and I'm gonna slide to accept. I said do it right now. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, welcome to your first Instacart order, Averland. Do y'all see that? It's my first order, y'all. Um, it says we set up this real-time orientation session to guide you through your first shopping experience step by step. Okay, so now I have to go to Aldi. It says I should head to the store. I am in the Pittsburgh area right now. I did move, so I live in pittsburgh a bigger area more stores and stuff like that so yeah you guys so basically i'm just gonna go ahead and drive to aldi when i get there i'm gonna start recording again you guys we just got here aldi's right there i don't know if you guys can see it but i'm about to turn all right you guys now that we're here i'm gonna go on the app and i'm gonna see what it says all right it says i have two orders angela w and dominic r 24th order 20 units 26 orders each customer has the letter for example all the a items go to one person and all the b goes to another group items by customer for example try using separate bags to keep all the a and b items together whatever okay i'm not whatever this is your shopping list it contains all the items in a customer's order mark items found when you get them okay so I guess when I get them, I have to click on them and then like scan each item. So I guess that's what we're going to do. I have 35. This is Angela and Dominic's order. It's not that bad. So let's go ahead and let's go start shopping. I pray and hope I don't get a ticket while I'm parked. All right, y'all. We're walking inside right now. I'm recording on my phone. Look, it says Instacart right there. Do not enter. Shoot. Oh yeah, so Audi does the the quarter thing. So I have to put a quarter in here to get the card out. Oh yeah, so I put the quarter in, I got my card. Start shopping. Let's start shopping y'all. Oh yeah, so this I'm in the store right now. So this is my order. This is what I have to look for. All this stuff right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start shopping and I'll put everything in my cart as I go along. Y'all, okay, so we found the yellow potatoes. I think these are the ones she's asking for. I don't really see another type of potatoes here, so we're gonna end this with that. Alright you guys, so so far this is my cart. Um, I shop for most of the items. I have like six more items left to find. Um, it's very time consuming, I will say that. But I separated both the orders so that I don't get confused. And I'm just going to find the six more items and then I'm going to go to checkout. So yeah. 
Alright, you guys, so when I was in the store, it was kind of hard for me to, like, talk to y'all and then record at the same time. So, I'm just going to do a voiceover. So, basically, it's not that hard. When you find an item, you have to, like, scan it into the app, and the app will tell you if it's the right item or not, and then you put it into your car. So, that's basically what I'm doing right here. I couldn't really explain it because y'all wouldn't have been able to hear me pretty well. But that is it. It's pretty simple. Find the item, scan it, and put it into the cart. you guys so I just got done I'm gonna go to check out right now let me show you guys my cart this is it it's a lot I know we are not going to go we're not gonna go ahead and use this card and swipe it and see if it works let's go to check out All right, y'all, one thing about Aldi is that they make you bag your own groceries. So they provide you with these, like, little benches or whatever that you can go on and bag your own groceries. They also don't give you bags. You have to pay for bags. So I used the card, and I paid for the bags and stuff. So it was fine. So that's just basically what I'm doing right now. I'm just bagging up the groceries, and I'm separating the orders because I had two orders, remember? Yeah. Alright you guys, so I'm back in my car. I just put everything in my trunk, all the groceries in my trunk. So I'm gonna talk about before I start driving to go deliver the um groceries, I'm gonna talk about some stuff that I actually did not know when I'm trying to check out. When I first went to check out, I try to scan every single item. I had two orders all together. I try to scan all of them in one as one transaction and it declined it kept declining the card over and over and over and there's people in line behind me and i'm like oh my god why is it declining the card turns out the guy told me that i have to do separate two separate transactions so that each person can get a receipt it makes sense so i didn't know that but now i know that so if you guys are starting out just make sure that if you have two orders in one you have to separate the orders and then when you go to check out each person's grocery list items out separately overall it wasn't that bad it was just like time consuming i will say that like trying to shop for each item and trying to figure out where stuff is at that was basically like that took a lot of time and then like if you can't find an item they will tell you to like replace to like find like a replacement for the item so that's good and also you can like directly text the customer and let them know like hey they don't have this item in stock do you want something else since it is my first day i was a little stressed out like i really didn't know what i was doing it drains your battery so make sure your battery is charged and also make sure you have your charger in your car with you because my phone is literally on seven percent my battery was almost full when i went inside the store now it's on seven percent you have to scan every single item before you put it in your car and that's gonna take most of your battery so make sure your phone is charged before you do insta car you guys all right so now that i have dominic and angela's groceries in my car i'm gonna click back to dash and it says check out separate orders like i told you guys you have to separate the orders we're gonna check out so i already did that i have my groceries i'm gonna click next and i'm gonna go to next next insert receipt information It says enter the amount of bags the customer should be charged for. I'm gonna say six. They want the receipt photo. The receipt photo is in the bag. Oh my God, I have to go back inside and take a picture of the receipt. All right, so I went back in the trunk and I got the receipt out the back. This is completely different from DoorDash. I didn't know I had to scan the receipt. So I got both the receipt for both customers. Now it wants me to take a picture of Angela's receipt. I'm gonna go ahead and scan it. Um, submit, go to next step, 
it's at six next. Now I have to take a picture of Dominic's receipt, the other person, the other customer. Y'all ignore my car. My car is dirty, I know. And I'm gonna say submit. Go to next step. Now we have now we can deliver them. Time to deliver the order. Yes. I'm gonna keep this receipt so that when I get out to go deliver the food, I can put it in the bag as well. So let's go deliver it. So now it's time for me to go deliver Angela and Dominic's order. Um is due ASAP. So I'm gonna click start delivery and I'm gonna go deliver it basically. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys her address, of course. So I'm gonna stop screen recording and I'm gonna go to her house. I'll I'm gonna start recording myself again once I get to her house because oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get the get the groceries and deliver it to her house. I'm right outside Angel's house and I'll be back, y'all. I can't really record and hold groceries in my hands at the same time. I'm also gonna remember to give her her receipt so that I don't forget. These are the groceries that I got. I'm almost done you guys with my first instacart orders um I just have to go deliver Dominic's order and I will be done you guys I'm super excited because today's been stressful for me y'all Dominic is really really close he's only five minutes away so that's not bad y'all I'm only gonna be doing two deliveries today since it's my first day y'all um next time I will be doing more orders once I get used to it and stuff first, I have to figure out where exactly he's at his house is at so I'll be back y'all So you guys, today I made a total of $28.14 and you guys, I only did two two deliveries, two badges, which was two orders in one. Um, the customer tips me, they tipped me $14.02, that's how much I made and I also made $14.12 from just the order in general. So all together I made $28.14 you guys. Before I end the video, I will say that if you are thinking about doing Instacart, please go ahead and try it out, you guys. Let me know, if you, or if you've tried it out before, please let me know your experience. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you stay to the end of the video, I want to say thank you for following me on my first day of doing Instacart. If you guys want to see more Instacart videos, please go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please not forget to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video, you guys.